What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to talk about social security. We're going to talk about the upcoming double payment. Yes, that means two payments in one month. We're also going to talk about what the social security administration is looking to do to try to change things and make things more equitable for people all across the United States. So that's another big one. Got some updates regarding what new proposals we may see what lawmakers are currently discussing and what changes you may actually kind of frown upon so a lot of stuff going on today all i ask is if you enjoy these daily updates do me a favor go ahead hit that like button it really does help out the channel but let's begin so first off something is finally going to happen we are now about one month away from the end of our fiscal year 2023 budget that means lawmakers have to come together they have to pass the next fiscal year for 2024 appropriations bills now in this lawmakers are starting to kind of butt heads starting to clash and the reason for this is because nobody knows you know exactly how to get things done they just don't they all want their own agenda and they don't really want to bend well it's creating a problem but with this problem what we are now starting to see is more lawmakers are coming forward and setting a very clear plan that we need to work on this, this, and this. That's good news for Social Security because Social Security is now being brought to the front instead of being stuck on the back burner. So that's good news there. They're finally doing something with that. The next thing that I think is very interesting is because of this, this question as to whether or not the fiscal year 2024 appropriations bills even get passed, there's a chance we see a government shutdown. If we see a government shutdown, this would actually slow down people from getting their benefits if they are still in the process of getting approved. This is also one of the reasons why now the Social Security Administration is actually encouraging people to go and get their benefits early. Yeah, the Social Security Administration who normally takes a step back and lets you decide. And they're just there to kind of give you ideas and throw out some numbers and stuff like that. Now what we're hearing from many people, especially here in this community, they're saying they are now being told to go and take benefits early because you don't know if their office is going to be close. You don't know if your benefits coming to you will be delayed, you know, an extra couple of months because the government has a potential shutdown. So if you are considering going and collecting benefits, according to the Social Security Administration or many people within, they are being, they are telling uh, people that call, hey, Get benefits early because well you don't know if we're gonna get shut down and the other thing is in the next 10 years you don't know how much money is gonna be coming to you so a lot of questions there but good news is the Social Security Administration is finally coming forward and telling us pretty much what people want to hear just give us the truth that is it now I have something I want to show you and this was this is coming from the it's called disabilityscoop.com now i bring this up because this is not the first time i've seen this okay many people have sent me articles just like this i want to show you it, it says social security proposes update to ssi calculation now we come down here and read this i want to explain what this like why this is coming uh, at this time it says the social security administration uses a different standard to determine supplemental security income benefits for people living in certain states. Now, the agency wants to update its rules to treat beneficiaries nationwide more equitably. It says the agency is proposing a new rule to modify how it alters benefit payments for those who receive what's known as in-kind support and maintenance in the form of a rental subsidy. It says under current rules, SSI benefits are reduced if a person is paying rent or shelter expenses that are lower than the current market value or what they would pay on the open market. This is significant in cases where a person with a disability is renting from a family member or, for example, who charges them a reduced rate. Yeah, this is something that is starting to become a more of a reality because you think about it, 
we are seeing home prices just go through the roof. Rent is going through the roof. So what happens in many cases is, let's say I have a family member that needs a home, right? They need a place to live and I have a, an available apartment or uh, you know, one of the you know, single family dwellings is you know, available, right? It's vacant. And I'm like, hey, you know, Aunt Susie, you know, I have this apartment. I know it normally rents for, you know, three thousand dollars a month, but you know, I'll rent it to you for fifteen hundred. I'll rent it to you for just my mortgage, right? And Aunt Susie's like, oh yeah, I'll take it. Well, if her benefits get slashed because now she's getting this apartment for for less than the market rate, well, that doesn't really do anything. So in the end. All that's happening is Social Security just isn't paying out the money. That's it. Well, they're looking at changing this. They actually want to change this to make it a little bit different. All right? And this is something that we are going to see where we may not see income, uh, the Social Security benefits get a massive boost and you see more money. But what we could see is some of the, the rules, they might be, be a little bit easier. So you might be able to save a little bit of your money that instead of spending it, you can kind of hold on to it, okay? That is kind of what we're seeing, but one thing I can tell you is that this is normal, especially for the Biden administration. We haven't seen them come out and just increase benefits, right? We just haven't seen it. But what they have done is they've given us legislation that is cutting or reducing other uh, prices. For example, one thing uh, that was just announced uh, the other day was the Biden administration has revealed the, the first 10 drugs that Medicare is going to negotiate, okay? Here's some of the, the main ones, okay, all right? Let me just, let me just show you this little um, one right here. We're just gonna read this right here. It says, the list includes a pair of widely used blood thinners. There's Eliquis and Xeralto, as well as uh, the cancer therapy in, in Bruvica, it also includes uh, Farxigia and Jardiance and Junuvia, okay? All of which treat uh, diabetes. So that's just some. But what you need to keep in mind here is that by the Biden administration coming out and negotiating prices on these drugs, guess what? That's actually gonna make it cheaper for the people that go and spend that money on those. So good news right there that finally we now have a list of the the, the first 10 uh, you know, medications that they're gonna go up against. So, good news is, yes, hopefully they're gonna save you a little bit of money. Now, here's something else I wanna address really quick because I've been getting a bunch of questions on this. New beneficiaries are saying they're, they're hearing this, this rumor that there's a second social security check. Is that true? Well, the answer is yes. So for, for I think four months, um, it's, what is it? It's um, January, April, July, and October. Yeah, for the, I believe it's, no, no, no. Those are the months you don't get anything. You get a double payment for, let's see, you get March, you get June, September, and December. Those four months, you get double payments because in the following months, in, in January, April, July and October, you don't get a payment, all right? So, just to give you an idea really quick, you are gonna get a check if you're for your uh, SSI payment, for your SSI benefits. You'll be getting a check on September 1st, um, which is this Friday, and you'll also be getting a check on Friday, September 29th, okay? That's just the way it's gonna work, and then you're not gonna get a payment in October. So. Yes, you are gonna get a double payment, but I've been getting a lot of people saying that, oh, good news, we're getting a double payment. The reason you get a double payment is because you don't get one in the following month. So yes, September, get a double payment, all right? It is what it is. Now, here's the last thing I just wanna address because a lot of people that are considering collecting benefits, that are already collecting benefits or those that are just paying into it, they're a little bit upset. The reason why they're a little bit upset is because of some of the new rules that lawmakers are considering in order to reduce the expenses for Social Security. The first one 
is let's raise the full retirement age. Instead of age 67, let's raise it to age 68 or possibly age 69. Back in, I think it was 1983, I believe, somewhere around there, the last time Social Security was really changed, what happened was under the, the president then, he raised the full retirement age by two years, from age 65 up to age 67. That is why they're considering another two year, two year bump as well. The next one is they are considering a higher social security tax, not a tax cap, a tax. This means instead of paying 12.4% uh, for on our income, we would actually pay potentially another 1.8%, uh, which would bring it to 14.2%. That's one of the things that is being discussed. And the next one, and this is something I don't think is going to happen, but it's been thrown out by many people. Uh, multiple lawmakers have discussed this, have have negotiated this and said it's just not something that we can do at this time. But being that there's many people that have a, a very high income, what Social Security or what lawmakers would like Social Security to do is means test seniors. So if somebody has a just a massive amount of wealth, has millions or billions of dollars, they would be considered a high earner and high earners actually would either see a reduced benefit or would completely see their benefit get eliminated. So that would save Social Security just millions or billions of dollars. So that is something that is being discussed as well. However, I think that is very unlikely. So that is what's happening right now regarding Social Security. Just wanted to fill you in on what's going on at this time. If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.